already know that in writing an equation of a line in the form slope-intercept form, we will need our slope and y-intercept, and by direct substitution, we'll be able to write our equation of a line. Now, we will consider that as our first case, or case 1, wherein we are given the slope and the y-intercept, and by writing the equation of a line, we just need to do direct substitution. Now, there are two more cases that we're going to be working on in this lesson. The second case will be we have a point and we have the y-intercept, then we need to solve or find the equation of a line. So this one is more work than case number one because we need to have a little bit of solution or math solution to find the given slope using a point and the y-intercept. And for our third case, we will be given two points and we will be asked to find the equation of a line using the slope-intercept form. Now, for our first example, we are going to focus on case number two in answering problems given point and y-intercept and writing the equation of a line. So in this example, we need to write the equation of a line given that the line is passing through the point 3 and 4 and a slope of 2. So in this example, we have two givens, and that's the point and the slope. So first step is to find the y-intercept of this particular problem. Because we already know what the slope is, we just need to find the y-intercept so we could complete our equation. So this y-intercept or the slope-intercept form is given by y equal to mx plus b. And this formula is what we need to help us find the value of the um, y-intercept, which is in this case the letter B in the formula. So we know that we have a point which is 3 and 4 and we have the slope which is 2. And in this problem, since point is an ordered pair of x and y, we can replace the value of x and y by the given point which is 3 and 4. And by direct substitution, we will fill in the formula by replacing y, by replacing m, and by replacing x by the given values. So we'll have 4 equal to 2 times 3 plus b. So now we have b here, so we can solve b by simplifying our equation. So we have 4 equal to 2 times 3 plus b, which gives us 4 equal to 6 plus b, and by solving b, we'll have b equal to negative 2. So now, on step number 1, we're able to find the y-intercept by using the formula, and b is equal to negative 2. So now that we have the slope and the y-intercept, which we're able to solve from step number 1, we are now ready to write the equation of a line. So y is equal to 2x minus 2, which is the equation that we need using the slope-intercept form and by finding the intercept or the y-intercept of the given line. And this is how we um, answer problem on case number 2, which is given a point and given a slope. Now, on the second example, we are given a slope of 1 half, and we need to write the equation of a line which passes through 8 and negative 3. And by the first step, we need to find the y-intercept by using the slope-intercept form and replacing the value of y, m, and x by the given point and the given slope. So we have point of 8 and negative 3 and slope of 1 half. By direct substitution, we'll have negative 3 equal to 1 half times 8 plus b, and by solving b, we'll be able to find the y-intercept. So 1 half of 8 is equal to 4, and subtract 4 on both sides, and we'll have b is equal to negative 7. Therefore, in our second step, since we have our given slope, and we found our y-intercept, we are now ready to write the equation of a line, and the equation of a line is simply y equals 1 half x minus 7.